Hello, I am Claudio from Windrose and you're watching Brutally Delicious. What's up, everybody? This is Dark Masic with Ruby Delicious, and I'm here with Claudio from Windrose. Yeah. How you doing, man? Great to be Fine. Here. So good, man. Hey. It's nice to meet you. It's nice to be finally in the United States. Yeah. We're having a really, really great time here. So tell me more about that. This is your first time touring the U.S.? Like, it is. It is, man. Yeah. Um, had you ever done Prague Power or anything before? No, these, no. These are your first, first shows? Time. I mean, I, for me, it's the first time I ever come to the United States. First time? Yeah, ever. Yeah, because we were supposed to do a tour in 2019, mm -hmm. and probably USA as well, but mm -hmm. we had problems with Visa. Uh, I mean, yeah. we, we didn't get them denied, but they were like, okay, we need more proof that you are famous. Okay, so we're, uh, the manager was like, no, let's, let's drop, because uh, if we get it denied, we get like a five years ban. So no, 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 no. Yeah, man, I don't know if you guys know it, but coming to play to the US, it's really almost impossible. No, it's not impossible, I mean, but you need to be a renowned band. Yeah. Otherwise, they don't want you. So, I mean, you couldn't just show them, like, these are 2019, right? Mm -hmm. So that's after Diggy Diggy Hall, right? No, it was before Diggy Diggy Oh, it's before, what year was that? Oh, okay. uh, yeah, Diggy Diggy Hall was June 2019. Okay. The was supposed ah, to happen in, okay. in April 2019. Okay. So, okay. I mean, that makes a bit yeah. sense. Like, uh, like uh, just a couple of months, months later, we got the visa refused. We entered the billboards. So, I mean, uh, then there was COVID, yeah, and course, so that's the reason why four years have passed and we couldn't come. But so, now we made it. Fuck yes. Oh yeah, dude, <laughs> glad you're here. So, like, the tour's going well, are all the bands getting along? Like, yeah, it's fantastic. The crew, the bands, we are getting along really nicely together. I love them all. And it would, would be really sad the day after tomorrow when we have to yeah. split. I mean, we will meet again, of course, soon, but mm -hmm. uh, you never know when. <laughs> I mean, so you and Rhapsody, both Italian, like, yeah. how about geography? Are you both from the same area? Uh, no, not precisely, but we all come from the northern part of Italy. So we like live uh, 13 kilometers away. Oh. I don't know if you uh, know how like much miles. it is. Yeah, yeah, exactly. miles, yeah. Okay, I don't know the, the change, I don't know how it is. But. <laughs> it's like, I think it's roughly like the Fibonacci sequence. It's okay, like, it's like yeah, yeah, yeah. It goes to 8, 21, and 13. Okay, I mean, yeah. we are like three hours away. <laughs> three hours driving away. Oh, oh. yeah, we are close. We are close yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we are all Italians. We are having a lot of fun. I mean, it's so nice. We, I feel like I am home. Uh, okay, I mean, so th this part of the country has a lot of like Italians in it. I mean, you're going back like a hundred years, but oh, okay, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Have you gotten any good Italian food, or do you just go for American stuff? Uh, we um, the the food that saved my life in the U.S. is Caesar salad. Caesar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I got salad everywhere. Of course, we got the burgers, and uh -huh. the American stuff. But sometimes you need to recover, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> because in Italy, we are more. We eat uh, more simple things, you know. Mm -hmm. So when we come to the U.S., there is a, uh, everything put together in the same dish. So it's a bit. It, I mean, it's good, yeah. but it's a bit difficult for us to to go on like one month like this. But mm -hmm. okay, it's fine. Then in in Phoenix, Arizona, we had uh, as a green room. We had a whole apartment all together. So we. Uh, we had a kitchen, so we all day we st we cook Italian food together with <laughs> wraps and so yeah. Ah, no, but I mean it's really nice to yeah. even eating in the U.S. is nice because you can find basically anything. Uh -huh. I mean, if yeah. one day I want to eat Italian, I can just Uber yeah. and go there. That's fun. Mm -hmm. Loving the U.S. is fun. Uh, cool, cool, cool. So you released an album last year, right? It's, yeah. Um, you're on this tour now, What's and then you're doing a European run, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay. So what, what's the next cycle look like? You're going back to the States, you're doing another album. Like, when can I see you again? This is a uh, question. But really, really soon. Really soon? Yeah, because you know, pretty easily. 
the visa is one year long. Okay. You oh, don't want to, to do one tour only with the same visa, you know. I didn't, I didn't know that. <laughs> I thought it was for like four weeks or something. It's a, it's a year? No, 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 one year. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So, uh, to take advantage of it, we need to come back before it expires. Mm -hmm. So, most likely, next spring, uh, spring 2024, we'll be back. Are, are you going to be headlining? What's happening there? Pretty much sure that we are at the end. Yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. The manager is working on it. I mean, this tour for us was uh, a really good proof that we are doing good in the US. So the manager was like, maybe we're ready. Maybe not. Let's see. So he's working on it. There's a lot of chatter online that like people are coming to you and not the Rhapsody. Um, I don't want to make anybody upset here, but like I'm, it sounds like you guys are quite a draw. Uh, thank you very much. I thank you very much for that. Uh, I don't know. I mean, the, the shows are really good from the start to the end, and it's really nice to see that people are looking forward to see all the bands. And yeah, of course, maybe a lot of people want to see us yeah, yeah, yeah. because it's the first time that we come here. Yeah. Yeah. And we had some viral TikTok videos before coming here, so it, it makes sense. I mean, but a lot of people uh, come for Rhapsody. A lot of people had the uh, Rhapsody teas. So I mean, yeah, I mean the the whole pack is working nicely. It, it's it's a killer bill, I swear. Like um, Seven Kingdoms is criminally underrated. I love them live. You guys here, first time here, and obviously you're doing well. And this, I think, Rhapsody's first time in the U.S. Since, like, except for Prague Power or something like since 2012. Yeah, yeah, so, they came in 2012, and that was the last time they came. So, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, like, I mean, there's great. there's hype for this package. I mean, I mean we we did a really really great numbers. Huh? All the tour was all, all, almost every venue was sold out. So, that's great. like, I, tell me if I'm like just imagining things, but like I saw Elstrom and Glory Hammer about a week ago, and that was oversold, and they sold out all their merch. Yeah. This tour is obviously doing really well. Like, is power metal the next big thing? Because for a long time it was like, you know, deathcore, and then yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know. It, it's a really nice question, and. There are, I mean, the main metal acts lately, I would say, are uh, Sabaton and yeah. Power Wolf. Yep. So, I mean, it makes sense that Power Metal, the new wave of Power Metal, might be the, a big thing in the next year. But who knows? It always changes. Plus, yeah. well, so, I mean, but it looks like it's a good rising tide, right? It is, it is, of course. I mean, what better time than this one for having a, a fan fantasy themed Power Metal band? And that, that brings me to the next point. Because I, I gotta uh, rack your brain for this one. So you guys, obviously, like for those unaware, Windrose, they're like dwarven metal. They're all about yeah. dwarves. <laughs> uh, you see, I am. Uh, he's taller than me. No, no, it's, it's, <laughs> this guy's not short. No, it's just the first back. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, but still, um, let's say like, have you ever read the Hobbit? Mm -hmm. Right. So what? How about the Battle of Five Armies tour? You guys are dwarves. Power Wolf probably takes the wolves. Who are the other three? <laughs> Who are humans, elves, and... I would love to see the pirates. Okay. Elsa? Elsa? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So are those are humans? Uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, I would love to see... We need elves and orcs. Yeah, you need... Uh, Necrooblicon? Yeah, th th that was the obvious one, of course. Uh, okay. And <laughs> what you got for elves? We missing the elves. <laughs> Twilight Force. I was I was gonna suggest that if you didn't, I'm so glad. Like I think Aaron Deer's name wears them on his ears. It's like what a killer package! Wow. Yeah. So, like, um, do you guys like mainly go into like? I mean, you have a song called There and Back Again. So yeah. does, so does Spotlight Force actually. Like, are, are you mainly like Tolkien dwarves or is it just dwarves? Period. Uh, we are uh, really huge fan fans of Tolkien, of the Hobbit, of Lord of the Rings. So. Mainly the inspiration comes from, from that. Yeah. So when we write music, even if something, even if a song talks about something different that has nothing to do with that word, we yeah. still refer to it when we compose the music. The, uh -huh. You know. So everything is driven by the Lord of the Rings. But we like also to uh, include different words. For example, Francesco the singer yeah. is uh, is playing Warhammer. Okay. So he's right. a lot into it. So a lot of songs uh, are about that uh, yeah. part of the fantasy tours. Nice. But I mean, we, we can draw inspiration from basically anything that's related to the dwarves. Because we, we really like them, we really like the, the scenarios where the dwarves are so, so whatever, we are uh, happy and up to, oh, yeah. to something. Okay. Right. 
What, uh, do you have new album plans? It sounds like yeah. next year's gonna be touring. What's that? 25. Uh, release, record, both? Uh, record will be uh, a little bit earlier, I think, probably uh, between the end of this year and the beginning of the next. But more or less, uh, 2024 it should be the year of the new album. Perfect. Nothing is confirmed, of course, but I mean, we are, we are working on it. It's already a, like one year that we are working on it. Yeah. I guess just uh, last question, and then I'm gonna ask for a bumper for you. I, like, we sort of already touched on this with like you know power metal tours doing well. How do you feel about like the metal industry as it is right now? Because like, as a fan, I feel like the only like obviously this tour is doing well, but the only band that like my mom has heard of from the last 50 years is Ghost. Like, how do you feel about that? Do you think it's gonna make a comeback? Uh, I think it's more uh, the, the the big next thing should be rock. Might be rock music, in my opinion. I mean, Ghost is not a metal band. I love Ghost. I love them, but it's more like a rock, progressive rock, yeah, pop rock. And I mean, I think that Ghost, without their makeup, without their uh, stage clothes, uh, would not be a good good deal. In my opinion. I I like the music, but uh, there's not so. They're not so. Uh, they are not so particular with their music. I mean, the look com uh, combined with their music is perfect. Uh -huh. But anyway, I think the next big thing will be pop rock. Okay. Pop rock. Like uh, there are a lot of artists, like uh, punk artists, that are, are coming back now. They are really famous, like Machine Gun Kelly from yeah. from pop from punk. Yeah. 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 Uh, but. I think that metal will uh, take advantage of it because the, I, I can see that the guitars are going back on stages, you know. Yeah, yeah. We, in the last like 10 years, we had uh, we didn't see any guitar on stage anymore. It was more like electronic uh, rap. I mean, I like every every kind of music, but it's really nice to see. Yeah, guitars are going back in the mainstream. Yeah. For example, even Manuskin. I was gonna say, yeah, yeah, they yeah. on your visit, right? Very yeah. tough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they are. I mean, I'm not a huge fan of their music. They, they are good, really good to play, really good energy. But the good thing is that they are. They brought back the the, the rock history. Yeah, and metal can take advantage of it. So I see a bright future for metal as well. Not like. More like uh, uh, something that comes from another thing, okay. but it will be good. One. I mean, the, yeah. the industry is working. Now. There's a lot of people coming to the show. I can see things. Awesome. That's okay. fun. Any other things you want to say to Bruno? Let's just. We had a really, really amazing time in the U.S. So uh, we thank you all uh, that that your uh, people there are seeing this video. It was a really awesome blast to be here, and we really, really hope to see you soon next year and come to the shows. We wait for you. Awesome. Thanks so much.